Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a rare case of nephrolithiasis in fetus with cystic disease of kidney, urinary retention, and oligoidomnias, multiple fetal anomalies. You can see the fetal head. Congenital urinary system anomalies have overall prevalence of 2 per 1000 live births and represent a significant proportion of fetal pathology detected by ultrasonography. However, antenatally diagnosed nephrolithiasis has been described rarely in the literature. You can see the fetal cardiac activity and it is visible and audible. The incident of nephrolithiasis in periodic per, per population is reported between 1 out of 3,000 to 1 out of 8,000 of pediatric admission to major hospitals and is uncommon compared to incident of adult nephrolithiasis in adult population. Pediatric urolithiasis is commonly associated with structural renal tract anomalies and metabolic disorders. You can see the urinary bladder of the fetus is grossly distended due to urinary retention and this is one reason why there is oligodromnias in this case. You can see the fetal kidneys and multiple cysts are seen in the fetal kidney. The other kidney is shrunken. Now you can see the again the fetal urinary bladder and the cystic kidneys of the fetus. You can see multiple cysts. So this is cystic disease of the kidney. And two stones are seen. You can see the stone shadings. You will see very rarely a video or case report of stones in the fetal kidney. This is the kidney and this is a stone. In this picture one stone is visible. You will see the other stone also. Now this stone measures about 8.8 .8 millimeter and there is strong posterior accosting shadowing. Now you can see the other stone also. Both these stones are seen in the upper pole of the kidney and cysts are also seen. These are the two stones. Antenatally diagnosis of renal, uh, renal calculi is extremely rare and I have not heard about it on ultrasound. I present a case of renal stones formation diagnosed at 30 weeks of gestation on ultrasound examination. Two stones are seen in the lower, in the upper pole of the kidney. A 33 year old female visited to ult for ultrasonographic examination in her fourth pregnancy. She had had two full term normal deliveries with one abortion. No cesarean section was done. All the children are alive, all two children, the other was aborted and they are well. She belongs to poor socio-economical group, no history of smoking or alcohol intake, no drug intake was reported. The fetus shows a single kidney, the other kidney is shrunken, having multiple cysts in it, the urinary bladder is distended to its maximum due to urinary retention and hence oligodromnia is also present. Fetal movements are very sluggish and amniotic fluid is also scanty. You can see there is hardly any amniotic fluid visible. So multiple cysts are seen in the fetal kidney. The urinary bladder is distended 
Renal parenchymal stone formation is referred to as nephrocalcinosis. Nephrocalcinosis has been described in newborn mainly in premature infants. Ultrasound examination as at 30 weeks gestation showed two ecogenic foci are seen in the upper pole of the kidney. Collecting system dilatation was uh, also seen. A diagnosis of renal calculus, calculi was made and was reported. The main characteristics in the kidney is the presence of multiple cysts resulting from dilatation of collecting ducts. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease is genetical disorder affecting 1 in 1,000 people worldwide and is associated with an increased risk of intracranial aneurysm. The average life expectancy for patients with ADPCKD ranges from 53 to 70 years depending on the subtype. Fetal adenoprosis is one of the most common problems detected by prenatal ultrasound but stones are rarely seen. It affects approximately one of every 100 newborn. Unborn babies with fetal adenoprosis do not typically experience problems in the womb. In half of the, these cases, the condition resolves on its own by the third trimester. Presence of renal stones in the pregnant woman has been associated with a significant increase in the ris risk of recurrent miscarriage, mild preeclampsia, chronic hypertension, gestational diabetes mellitus, and cesarean deliveries. It has also been associated with premature rupture of membranes in one study. So this is a rare case of renal stone. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.